Anyway, back to Dota. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to Amateur Dota 2 League Season 6 with v 3 and Fuzzleth. We got Akaldama. Hi, everybody. We got Akaldama. Go. We got Akaldama against the Spooky Salt Squad. <laughs> the Spooky Salt Squad. That was a, uh, a beautiful intro. Thank you for interrupting me after every word. Silencer has been banned out first. Yeah, that happened. It's a good solid. I think we keep seeing Silencer and Titan are getting banned out. Shit's okay, there you go. I don't know why. Are you are you listening to us while we listen to ourselves? I was still had the stream up just for you know the sound, and it was apparently on. It is not on anymore. Okay. All right, sorry. Any, anyway, we're gonna figure this casting out eventually. Probably not. Tidehunter and Faceless Void are now banned out as well. Tidehunter are getting rid of a lot of good team fight and a good offlane hero, as well as Bristleback, who is also banned out, and a really good offlane hero as well. Salts does not wants to have them run an offlane solo hero. It makes you think if like they're banning on the Bristleback right off the bat, if they're doing that for like some type of strategy that they don't want to play against the Bristleback, like they squishy heroes maybe. Yeah. But normally Bristleback's one you want to like normally pick as a counter pick first. It's not really something you want to ban out first, especially with juggernauts and trolls and other scary heroes lurking around in the meta right now. Omni Knight will be first pick off by the Akaldama. And then we have the Vengeful Axe. So it looks like they want to have Axe in a dual lane, so they banned out two offlane heroes in order to force Axe to get higher experience than the two other heroes in that dual lane. In my opinion. You think it's going to be a safe lane Axe? Yes. Probably not, but you know, one can dream. Okay. You can dream. Yeah. I'm not sure about a safe lane Axe, but actually Omni pick is actually not bad against Axe. Omni's always so, a good pick. I mean, because whenever Axe calls, if as long as Omni's not getting caught by it, yeah, he can just pop that heal down. It's going to hurt Axe hard. At 300, so, 320, 360 crew damage? 300 and 360. They, they picked Axe really early, too, which is kind of weird. Um, well, you want to pick him up a little Drow bit Ranger. later. So now... Aquadamus is going to be able to pick up more ranged heroes. Like Such a trial. But. They really. Spooky Salt Squad's not showing off anything really. So far, at least in their picks. Juggernaut being banned out. I'm probably going to see Troll get banned out too. I hope they do. I hate Troll. The worst hero. Troll, Jug. Axe, they already picked up. He's kind of big right now. And who else is big right now? Chen's also big. Chen. He's getting that. picked. I haven't oh. seen Chen picked in a long time. I haven't seen Chen picked in years. And by that I mean TI4. I don't think you'd see much. You sure. You don't see Pub um, Chen. You're going to see him You're gonna see him picked up in TI5, that's for sure. Yeah. Which hopefully will be there. You never, you never see hopefully. Pub Chen anymore. Shadow Fiend. Interesting, because I would imagine that <coughs> Drow is going to be going mid. So they ban out another mid hero. I do like Omni with the Drow combination, though. That's Especially with uh, Guardian Angel label, keep them in mind. But they're going to need basically to get in the face. They're going to actually need some tanky heroes to last against Omni Knight with the, the Guardian Angels, so... Well, I think Axe is actually not as bad against Drow Ranger if he picks up the Blink Dagger. For sure. I mean, Axe is a great disable. I mean, Call late game can completely wreck when everything's, like, resting on a hairpin. Um, and everybody knows he's just wrecks early game. Wind Ranger will be banned out. But with Axe, with Axe, Blade Mail on Black on Axe. God, I can't talk. On Blacks, Blade Mail on Blacks. Axe on Blade Mail. Like, yeah. Blacks Axe on Blade Mail. Blacks Mail. 
Lady or, Mermax uh, out of Black Bale. Axe. Blink Bale. I still think Blink Bale should be a thing. <laughs> an actual item. Wasn't that Dota Cinema that brought that up? No, that was me. No. I said I got Blink Bale, and you guys all ripped on me, and I was like, no, I got my Blink Bale. I got my Blade. I can't talk. I'm just gonna stop. You can just cast. No, the whole I had to solo cast the other one. And I'm, I'm gonna swallow my tongue. It's a weird phrase. But no, you mean bite your tongue mail. or hold your tongue. Said, no one swallows their tongue. No one has ever swallow. said swallow my tongue. What are you talking about? Wraith King People was picked up do. by uh, Spooky Salt Squad. <laughs> <laughs> People who are uh, have seizures. Isn't that supposed to be why you put something in their mouth so they don't like? Uh, I don't think they shove their their own tongue in their mouth. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this man's having a seizure. Quick, put his tongue farther into his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but against... Okay, so we Spooky Salt is going to tanky route. Let's let's just start over. So Spooky Aqua Salt Dot is going to tanky route. Welcome to 82L Season 6. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Uncle Spooky Dama. Salt is going to tank your route, which is the smart move against an Omni and a Duro. Um, uh, a great pickup by Aquadama would be Life Stealer, with you know ow. we've been playing around with Spirit Breaker and Life Stealer too. What about Animage? The most hilarious games ever. PL or Animage? <clears throat> I don't know about. You don't want to go melee illusions against Axe <clears throat> just because. Uh, who said that? I didn't say no any mage. Well, I you, said you no. You didn't say yes any mage. Well, I was still talking about how your other idea was stupid, and you're stupid. Welcome to eighty two L so. season six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. Any mage is a solid pick, but they're going to need a couple really, really big party carries to help defend him. Um. I'm not sure. They need something that'll be able to last. Maybe even like a Bane. Something that could, you know, hard disable them and keep one of the tanks out. Or two, if you have Bane. Two tanks. Yeah, or two. <clears throat> I was about to say Windrunner actually wouldn't be bad either, but they banned him out. Yeah. So. I guess. Oh, Jesus. They're going to be hitting well, really hard. Are we going to support Wraith? That's quite the push. Yeah. Um, so actually, AA wouldn't be a bad pickup here. AA is always one of the better ones to help slow down pushes. Okay. With his ult. They're going for the... If we actually, pick everyone who's really, really strong and make them on one team, we can't lose. <laughs> Dota. Actually, a Nature's Prophet wouldn't be a bad pickup for Aquadama either, though. Uh, Nature's Book would outpush by like. Just. Yeah, but at least he could teleport and be in there with support. Aqua has no tanky heroes. Except for, you know, Omnia can be pretty. I tanky. wouldn't be surprised to see if uh, Spooky Salt picked up the Venomancer just to complete the push. Well, who are they going to hit run mid? Venge? Doubt it. <clears throat> Answer. Warlock. Good team fight. Warlock's good, yeah. but you always have to have something to lock down like him, and Warlock can't lock him down that slow. Again, Bane again, Bane would have been a great pickup against Lycan. They do need a solid offing though. And it's a shame that Tidehunter and Bristleback got picked up because both of them would have been. <laughs> They're sent the last off pick. Dude. That's not a good offlaner. <laughs> Literally every offlaner. Except for, uh... Broodmother. Yeah, even Faceless Void is that. Broodmother. You know, Broodmother actually would be a very good no. pick. No, Broodmother oh, against Axe is Axe. horrible. There's Invoker. Yeah. Invoker's a good ban. <clears throat> Especially if they have to complain Invoker, because I can't. You know what? Chen. I like Chen. No, I don't like Chen. If they could have <laughs> figured out how to play him. No, you put him in the, um, jungle. And as soon as he gets, you know, two or three centaurs, just send them out. Chen and that could shut down basically any lane that they're farming. Chen for who? Akodama? Akodama. 
Yeah. Because right now I'm just focusing on how do you stand up against the train that is raking Axe and Lycan? Um, Especially once Axe gets his blink. Death Prophet would Lycan be bad if it's banned out. out. Uh, TA. God. Jeez. That's gonna hurt. Only thing that I think can save them right now is that Spooky Saul has kind of a greedy build right now. Very greedy. So, I wonder if this actually could be, uh... Life still wouldn't be bad. Because you could put a stick axe in the offlane, or you could stick him in the jungle. True. You can have like in jungle, though, too. My guess is... Actually, you can have any of the three jungle. You can have Wraith King, Lycan, or Axe Jungle. Obviously, it's going to be Templar mid, Vengeful helping out in the safe lane. Yeah, whoever. Most likely, it's going to be an Axe in the off lane, and then Wraith King or Lycan jungle. Probably Lycan. I guess it would be Wraith King. So that... My guess would be Lycan, so we'll see who's wrong. Or you. Yeah, we'll see. But I really would have... One with a life stealer pick. I do think life stealer would be very good though. here. Um, um, but right now, oh, well, with anti mage with his blink, it could work. I've never. Maybe that's something we should play around with in our, our tiny. matches. Tiny. tiny. All right, so they're just throwing a, a mountain against their mountain help. Oh. So, this will be interesting. It could work. I mean, they have the disables with drow and the warlock. Everyone's Chains like and slows. Dancing there for and a then second. Omnis. What? It was weird, like I had lag and all the little pictures, the porch just looked like everyone <coughs> was dancing really quickly. It was funny. Sorry. Okay. I got distracted. Yeah. Sorry. Alright, so. Welcome to ADTL if... Season 6. <laughs> if Akeldama can hold off the push in the first 20 minutes. I actually like their their team more. Um, Spooky Salt Squad really picked Greedy, so if they can hold off the push, I'd favor Akeldama, but Unless Spooky Salt these gets, first 15 minutes are going to hell. Gets all Midas's. I'll start down here with the... <laughs> look at the Spooky Salt Squad's uh, their little like thing. I don't even know what they call that. The fountain art. Anyway, we got Ooh. Terror on the Lycan. Canada on that PPD on the Rice King, Turtles on the X, <laughs> Math Math Wu Math Wu on Vengeful and Viking on the TA. TA. All right, and on Akeldama's side we have Pyro on the Gyro. <laughs> no, we have that, was not, that wasn't even funny. Joe. Like seriously, we have Lord Vengeance on Any Mage, Sunshine oh. on Tiny, and we have Macho. How do you say that? Macho Supremo. Supremo. Yeah. Supremo. Supremo. And then Sup we have Drayden on the Warlock. Stand in Drayden? I don't know. We have the, uh... The smoke and is out. Salt is already smoked up in the jungle. So... Let's see if they're gonna be blocking camps. I imagine so. No, they're just looking for the first blood for the bounty urn. Which hopefully uh Look at the mage will get picked. They're all going down here too, it's funny. So Oh it is any mage. Oh no. He has blank, he's fine. So I guess good plays by Aquanama not wandering into that, so Runes will be split. Axe top. Right. And see. who's gonna jungle? This is gonna be a really hard mid for Drow. This is gonna be and I must running dual lanes. Thank you. Are we gonna have a <coughs> a try bottom. Any mage and axe. Tiny. Omni Knight. This could be a Trilane bottom. So I was wrong. They are going in Tribot with Support Wraith King. So it's not jungling. And the pause. And the unpause. Okay. 
and I, that's first blood. Like, what the? What? I didn't even see that. Yeah, there was. He was kind of weak from the creeps, and oh, two stuns. Gotcha. Just, yeah, two yeah. stuns. Figured that much. So, I did catch that though. That was tiny. And <laughs> tiny wants blood, but he yeah. might. No, he's fine. Oh, they were trying to get the heal on. So a lot of aggression down there. It's an aggressive Charlie. Well, it's an aggressive <clears throat> dueling against a Charlie. We are seeing so, one. So this one, is actually a very weird lane. We're seeing one stout shield on the axe. I don't, playing the uh. The my knot. thing is, I might have Omni just. Might want to just abandon the lane, and go help top. Just shut down axe a little bit. Abandon the game. Actually, Dro kind of just stopped over to say hi and. Yeah. Didn't really do anything. Casual Dota. And they're pinging out Drow, so Ooh, might see a, a dead Drow. This is a dead Drow. That's a dead Drow. What was that? So they called for help on bottom, and ooh, Animage kind of came over to try to help too, but... More pings off on the uh, the Animage now. Sideblades. I wonder if that's actually switching, maybe? Possibly. And Animage is taking over mid and... Oh, up top we got Axe, being Axe. Yeah. Will he... So this is an Animage mid now, and Drow's going to go up top and... Try to fight the, the axe a little bit. Which that's good. Draws good against axe. And this here action on the Omni Knight, but the stun comes out from Tiny. Oh, the and heal. it's. Oh! Just in time, but one more right click. Use the snake? No. Nope. Or wave? It's oh. gonna get away. Wave would have killed her. Killed him. <laughs> yeah, he's very lucky and send that out. <clears throat> I think he had no low, low enough health. Almost. But right now. Salt is really, really far ahead in the last hits. Yeah. So, and the Sandy Mage is really getting hurt here in the middle. What you'd expect, having a melee against the range, let alone the range's TA. Got Axe up top here, yeah. smacking the drow. Could kill him. One more spin. Oh, almost got both of them. Tiny hiding in the trees. Tiny's max now is passive. He's really tired of taking damage. Tranquils are up on axe now. Oh, we got some aggression middle. Maybe yeah, it just blinks away. Templar does have the six already, so that's a pretty fast six. Any mage is about to have his five. They do have a pretty good lineup against Templar, now that I think about it. Being able to get... Oh, late game, for sure, Aqualdam have. Yes. They have the, the control, they have the Omni Knight to save everybody. It's just right now. Oh. There goes Omni Knight. Yeah. TA with a uh, haste. Yeah. It was like I was saying, the... The struggle is real right now. For the <laughs> the struggle is real. It is. Any mage is desperately trying to get far middle. Axe is dominating in last hits now too because he has axe. Uh, well, sticking any mage in the middle was it's working. Oh, for He's sure. got his last hits up. So it was a smart move, but it's just Templar is going to be He's obviously gonna... dominating that. He's gonna get his ring of health in a second here. And Tiny is drinking potions like he's at a bar. This girlfriend just stumped him and he's depressed. Oh! He got the call, but he ran away. I'm just telling you a life story. So. Yeah. yeah. The story of. Story of Tiny. Oh. I thought you were talking about yourself. You're just living it. Metaphysically through Tiny. <laughs> Lit. You know. Alright. 
Templar got a bounty room there. What's Annie Mage got? He's got a Morb Mask already. It has boots, stout shield. It's a good thing that Morb Mask doesn't do anything to you until you have it. Uh... Oh! They actually did get some decent damage done on a uh, Lycan there. So. Boy, double clicking on this portrait and following them is like the coolest trick. In I know. Casting. I know. But the last game I did in that first Now that we totally know how to do it. Shout out to Wolf Dota. What a guy. We love Wolf Dota. You should you should look him up on YouTube and Twitch and stuff and Steam and everything. He's a good person. Good guy. Good guy. Good wolf. Oh yeah. Okay, so War Vengeance is actually going for uh Who's the Lord Vlad's Vengeance? first. Who's Lord Vengeance? Oh. The uh Mage. Enemy Mage, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Which is interesting considering Mortal Mass does nothing for you if you're any mage. Well, I mean Vlad's is a common build for any mage and it's gonna help him get some survivability in the middle. But I would have thought you might great. I don't know, this early, you might want to just get the ring of health. Yeah, the ring just and the bacillus. Start building towards your So I'm actually surprised this tower hasn't taken more damage in the bottom lane. Like it already has his. Uh oh. Yeah, we have a uh, AFK axe up here. I'm not sure if he's... Is he disconnecting? Yes, he no, he's good. Okay. I saw him stop up there. So let's take a peek. They're not giving on the... Uh... Did he put any points in his slow? There's the slow. Oh. And the TP. Wait. Oh, the silence! Do you don't... No. Oh, no, wait, that doesn't cancel it? No. That doesn't disrupt, which is pretty stupid. Yeah. That, that doesn't rest... I'm sure if I was playing against a uh, Dro and it was doing that, I'd be crying if it was. Yeah. So double damage was picked up by TA, so she's heading towards top here. Oh. Which you might see a dead Warlock. That's oh, a, no, he's going for the Dro. That's an awesome draw set. So there's double damage. Just saying. And... A level two last word. That's a lot of health. And Oof. there's the slow should be coming out. No. Yeah, that's a dead Dunk. warlock too. TB support came in, but it was too slow. Anyway, to look at you. And axe or uh, tiny actually might go down here to the vengeful spirit if she sends out that snake. Oh, it was no, cool she already did. Yeah. All right, so. A lot of hurt being dished out. And let's check the net worth here. And Aquadamus falling oh, behind. Up top, we got Omni Knight getting harassed. We'll get away though with a heal. See, that's good's going to probably save Aquadama. If anything, it's going to be this Omni Knight. They're p pinging out the axe right here. Oh, oh, middle. Here's. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Axe is going straight for Blink Dagger. Which is the, good, right, the right thing to do here, especially with the Draw Ranger. Oh, yeah, when you're ahead, that's going to be a 10 minute Blink. That's pretty good. Which, by the way, have you seen this Draw set? I've never seen this one before. It's really cool. It changes all the icons. So is this Eld Eldworm's touch? It's pretty neat. Yeah, I like. That. I like my grouse set though. I like that one a lot. It's a good thing I don't play drow. Lots of harassment off on the axe. Lots of slows. Oh, the Omni could get taken out. Oh, this oh, if this... Omni can get a heal off. He got it. Oh, he did get it off but too. Oh, okay. uh, Omni does go down, but you're gonna see axe dead. And all oh, the supports here though. This is gonna be a dead drow. It is dead drow. Aquadon was on the board down though. That's yeah, true. What time do you have? I feel like you're a couple seconds behind me. I'm at 10:38, 39, 40. 40. I'm at, I'm one second ahead of you. Well, it's the chat delay. Okay. 
idiot. Whatever. What's Tiny getting? Tiny is getting. And Tiny is slowly chugging along. Trying to get his power charts. Ooh, the blink has been picked up by TA. Ten minute blink. It looks like Animage might go down here. He's gonna run around the tower until his blink is off cooldown. It is now, and he does get away. Oh! Good blink. Oh, the jukes! The jukes! Oh! Oh, wow. It's like hide and seek. <laughs> the jukes away. are real. Smart move by uh, Animage going into the jungle there. Yeah, that was really good. Props. Command. Alright, I'll take a quick look. Gold chart. Salt spout. Yeah, there's a 7,500 gold lead. And about about 5,000 gold. Or uh, EXP lead. We got some aggression off on the tiny. Not, not enough to do anything really, though. Ooh, there's a lot on any mage. Some sort of ability for him. I'm about to jinx myself. I haven't missed a fight yet. It's, it's going good oh, so far. Middle. Drow's getting hit. And this... More jukes. Oh my the god, the TP jukes. support. Everyone is coming in for this fight. Warlock ultimate's down. Oh, X. Oh, oh too much melee. Dead X. And X. Oh, nice. Nice. That's mean. Good TP support. Very good. Hey, I'm always against anti-early game pushing. Ooh. Yeah, that's a dead warlock. Ooh. But she... No, she's gonna get out. And Omni... No, Omni lives. Nice. Yeah, well. That was a... Uh, warlock going down. Oh, Race King bottom on the tiny. Uh, One hit. Two. Will not be enough to kill him. Right. Stun in two seconds. One second. Dead tiny. Yeah. Alright. So that is... Arcane Boots on... Uh, Wraith King. It's something different. I like it. Well, yeah, that's good. Especially those ultimate. By the way, we have a Lycan junk or a rushing. Rushing. So, what do you build into as Anti Mage? Now that you can have your Vlads. Manta. I always go Anti Mage Manta. Just straight up to. Yeah. You don't go to. Well, I finished Power Battle Fury or anything. Hmm. Battle Fury will help it, you uh... farm quicker. And Rosh is gonna go down here. Yeah. Get some aggression off on the Wraith King. But... Oh, stacking Ooh, the stuns. Drop might be. Nope. Yeah, it's... Wraith King's gonna just teleport out. Which was Wraith King's ult up? No, it was down. Ooh. One more right click, he would have died. Blink up on the X. Looks like he's gonna want to kill this warlock up here. Yeah, he wants some. Well, well I can draw. Look at that. You see that? Oh, how did that miss? Did you see my drawing? Look at you can draw. That was real. Yes, I did. I didn't know that. That was really sketchy. I'm surprised that X is. Um, the calling blade didn't kill him. Here comes the two. Oh, but that's a hasted TA. Oh god, the nukes! Doesn't even matter that's though. It's threw him into the trees. Max is desperately trying to get the, uh... I don't know if she's gonna be able to commit to this. Max is here. If he gets a call on enemy, it's just gonna be big. No, we're done. I didn't know you could draw, that's so cool. So all we saw out of that was a dead drow. And a dead tier... whatever this is. Tier 1. I'm gonna be drawing this entire time now, by the way. Like it. <laughs> We're gonna try to go to the spots in the map where, uh, you're not at. Alright, so now we're gonna see like in kick in fully. Everyone's gonna be so pissed by the drawings. Let's see what we got on the TA. I'm not sure if they even want to defend this. They're just gonna have the. Well, they are gonna try to defend. I guess they're tier two. Any mage is going for the uh, battle fury, but tier one is down. 
and which does have a broadsword. Yeah, broadsword. It looks like Tiny could be going. I wonder if there's any stashed items. No, but we are going to have a Necro book up on the uh, Lycan, so he's going to go straight pushing Lycan. And Drow is going for a Shadow Blade. And that's all well, I Tiny really needs a Blink Dagger. Yeah, for sure. To be able to get into the toss, and I think the new meta with Tiny it's supposed to be Blink, Toss, Stun, because of the new cooldown or something. He doesn't have, he's not leveled toss yet. I was about to say, I didn't think I saw a toss out of him mm -hmm. yet. Oh, let's go back to the image here. They're going for the Lycan. He does have his Which ultimate. Lycan should pop his ult unless they can nuke him down. And one more hit. Oh, and... the axe saves him. Oh. I'm pretty sure he was trying to get off his ult and he just couldn't get it out. Oh! Lycan doesn't know what to do. Wow, what a team fight. And Lycan's still just waiting around on the outskirts. Lycan goes down. It, waiting to jump in. Tiny's avalanche takes out a Lycan. But TA's just coming in. Double damage TA. Oh, that's a team wipe. Ultra yep, kill on the wipe. TA. And they're going for the goal on yeah, the Yeah, she, she had a bottled up double damage. That was... Just unfortunate. Nothing is sacred, they're going for the golem as well. So, it looked like it could have been good, but they just waited. <laughs> Oof, it's a lot of gold. Good patience by Salt, good engagement. Desso is up on the TA. This TA right here. This one. Shh. Lycan already has his Necro book up. Level 1. Up top we got the axe is going for Vanguard next. See if they can get this tier one tower down apparently. There is a ward. Should not have seen axe though. Ow. Which axe is just gonna yeah, probably push this down. They do a fortify. So no, axe is gonna spin. Oh, TA middle. Another haste rune on this TA. She's getting so lucky with these runes. Four hits to take out the Drow. Sorry. Drow does go down. What is the, uh... Lycan did pop his ult, so it looks like he's gonna chase somebody here. TA is 10-0. and 0. Going for a BKB now, eh? I assume. Someone is really angry. They really want him. <laughs> TA is pissed. Wow. A lot of nuke damage on the TA. And that's a dead one. Another. TA is 12 and 0. I think they really want the Lycan up there, but he knows that Rosh is going to be up any time now. Oh, Abdi Night Rod! Can she swap? Yeah, she can swap. Omni was saved by Silencer. Trial. I thought they already swapped. Jeez, TA's got Deso. <laughs> Almost a BKB now, just from that one fight. No, you're right, it is a support wraith. Double damage, again, another double damage here. The Rosh is going to appear in a minute. This enemy mage cannot get enough farm. Only has a broadsword and of lads. Personally, at this point, I would have went for the Yasha. I just, I just want to like let it be known that TA's at 12k. Yeah, worth, net worth. And I was at uh five five. <laughs> <laughs> just mean. Five k. 
I'll flick one on the lichen. So. He does have his ultimate up. He's gonna run away. Oh, he will get caught in the stun, but he's too fast. See, and there's the the lockdown you need. Can't be slowed, and going on up here? here's TA to just clean up. Just to cut Drow. What is even going on? You can't even tell. Whoa, beautiful uh, heal by the Omni Knight. And Aquaman is just getting picked apart. Wow. You know why? Because TA keeps That's full teamwork. He's freaking But Lycan and Axe team. did die in it, so I guess it could always be worse. TA Let's uh, take a look at the gold. Another double Actually, damage. the gold exchange was even on that fight, believe it or not. <laughs> Just because their levels are so much higher. I mean, Salt is still. Take up a look by... at the fight recap. And then, uh, I didn't but have the XP it. change was gigantic. I didn't have the fight recap. Where is it? Oh, it's not here, I guess. Well, everybody on Twitch got to see the fight recap. Well, aren't they lucky? Jeez. It's, uh, Wraith King just died to the tower. <laughs> died once to the tower, I should say. What do you get if you're T? She's getting a defusal. Jeez. This is one farmed TA. 22 minutes in with a blink dagger, BKB, desolator, and about to have a defusal. There is a warden, <coughs> so they do know they're there. Uh, Tiny almost has a scepter. Any mage is kind of halfway to Battle Fury. Any mage is getting destroyed by the TA. Same way. Oh god. Is this three? <laughs> Tiny did get the stun out, but oh. too little too late. Just get out Warlock. The defusal is up. PA didn't even use eventually didn't even use the swap there, so didn't need to. Meanwhile, Lycan and Axe are pushing down tier threes and into racks. This is such a like Throws desperately, I'm guessing trying to build a shadow blade, but yeah, she has it. This is like one of those dick move early team pushing drafts. Yeah. No doubt they probably Which, just, they probably just picked the Wraith King just to have uh the again now we see why they had uh, the Tide Hunter in the bristleback ban out early. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they just had the Wraith King just for the, uh, the Vampiric Aura. He's, he's maxed that, hasn't got a single one to stun, so they're just making it so they can push even faster. Surprise and he'll... Omni had to sit. Stun. Golem's down. Axe is gonna go down. Vengeful's getting hit pretty hard here. Oh, but then we have the TA from behind. Taking out two. Here she comes. Armed and ready. <laughs> and then Necro Book and everything's out too, yeah. so. There's a bit tiny. Any mages. Meanwhile, any mage. Yeah. Did get up on the ledge. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's Somebody out. blinks. <laughs> Jeez. But then there's, you know. Metro's like, <laughs> screw this. It's a silence. He's blinking oh. everywhere. He's gonna TP. He got out. Ooh. And drops out. Very lucky he got out of that. I All right. would not be surprised. GG's might want to Yeah, no. I would not be surprised if GG's are called. Two blade males up. I think blade males needed. Sorry. GG. Yeah. So that was mean. There's the GGs. It's very, very well played by Salt. That's TA once twenty and zero. So if you're playing against that push team, who do you have? You want Bristleback, but sadly Bristleback was banned. So Salt's 
knew exactly what they're doing. Going I still into this. think. And they I would have perfectly. A Doom. I would have went Doom, Bane. Um, I would have picked Life Stealer. Maybe even a Spirit Breaker, just so you can go back and forth between the lanes. And then, I'm not sure. Maybe even like a. We, we could talk about this during the second game. Like a Storm Spirit. Let's uh. Yeah. We'll head over right. to the second game now. Thank you guys for watching.